What channels will we use to communicate? How frequently will we communicate? The answers to these questions constitute the basis for our communication management approach. The communication management approach should Focus on listening and understanding perceptions and concerns as much as broadcasting to allow tailoring of messaging. Involve key influences to shape messaging and support communications. Provide information in multiple formats for sharing and feedback. Be adapted for communication across co-located, remote and hybrid teams. The communication management approach makes up another element of the project initiation documentation. This document is likely to grow, change and adapt to the project's needs as we push through stage by stage. As stakeholders come and go, grow or shrink and change their points of view, we will adjust accordingly as to how we communicate with them. This will be not only what we share, but how we share and when we share it. The approach itself is as much about listening as it is about sharing. Project managers have two ears and one mouth, and this should be remembered. We cannot share news that we do not have, and we certainly cannot start in making things up either. We have to know how we intend to receive information, progress reports and updates on changes, issues and risks. Thigh communication management approach will also establish who is responsible for each of these elements, as we all as standardize all formats for reporting, information sharing and storage. PRINCE2 is based on seven principles, one of which is that all PRINCE2 projects must define roles, responsibilities and relationships. This ensures people factors are continually addressed throughout the project's life cycle. PRINCE2 defines seven practices that are essential aspects of project management that must be applied continually and in parallel throughout the life of the project. The organising practice explains how people organise within a temporary project management team in this way, it ensures that the interests of the user, supplier and business are represented in the project and establishes the design and development of the project organisation. The topic of people is ingrained in our PRINCE2 processes as well. All processes have relation to people in some way, but none more than defined roles, responsibilities and relationships. We have to ensure there is a common understanding of everybody's involvement in our project to achieve success. The PRINCE2 processes are organised into four layers, commissioning, directing, managing and delivering. People factors such as behaviours, culture and relationships are included in the processes, explaining how people interface between the layers. Reminder, people are central to the PRINCE2 method. Without them, projects simply cannot run. This brings you to the end of the module. Please take time to reflect on and consolidate your learning. Consider if you have met the module learning objectives. Do you need to review any of the lessons? You should be able to. Define stakeholders, leadership, management, change management and the ecosystems. Explain different stakeholders positions looking both internal to the project and external to the project. Explain the purpose of the two related management products which are the change management approach and the communication management approach. Explain how people are central to the PRINCE2 method and how they integrate with all other elements. If you are confident that you have met these objectives, test your knowledge using the module test and then progress to the next module in your learning.